Hello, this is Dave at TitleSearch.com and AFX Title. In this video, we're going to talk about what's referred to as e-recordings or electronic recordings and how uh, they are or are not electronic title records. Uh, for the past hundred plus years, title records in almost every county in the country were maintained as paper documents, meaning that you had a mortgage such as this, it was three or four pages. Each page was actually presented to the uh, the county recorder and uh, put into a book where they st stamped it as being received and then for example in this case in Will County there's a stamp right here that shows it's received by the county and then they put it into a book uh, that archived the records that's what provided uh, integrity of secure property ownership the fact that these records were public documents means that if you had a lien on a property or you owned a property it was there for everybody to see nobody could question that ownership because it was in the public domain that it was there the problem is that uh, in order to find out the current status of a property you have to review hundreds of records on a property in order to find out what the current status is because if this mortgage is recorded uh, let's say in this case was in 2011 if the mortgage is refinanced in 2013 or paid off in 2014 this document still going to be in the same book where it was recorded uh, at that time so there's going to be not um, any clear way to find out if it's active or not unless you go through all the records to find out if there's a release for that document so more recently there's been counties trying to go to electronic recording of documents where these documents are not actually pieces of paper and books but they're submitted to the counties electronically and each of the pieces of information is stored in a database. The problem is, as you can see on a mortgage, there's all kinds of language about terms and conditions of that mortgage. Uh, there may be a description of the different covenants in the mortgage. How do you actually store that electronically unless it's all stored as text? And if it is, it still needs to be read. The other thing that's hard to store, what about signatures? Now, how do you put that into the records? More importantly, the way that a, properly, a property is described it's not by address, it's by legal description. Here's the description of a particular property. It's got three or four paragraphs of text. So e-recordings is one step towards uh, a system of property registration. The only way that a property title can be stored electronically is if each property is registered as a separate entity with a code number or a, um, a, a serial number. The other thing is there are 3,611 counties across the country. In order for the country to have electronic titles, all of those counties have to be formatted the same. They have to be coordinated, synchronized with a standardized recording system so that if a record such as a federal tax lien is filed, it can match up with any county where it goes into. So it'll, it'll take decades to get to that point, but at least in the meantime, there's some counties going to electronic recordings of documents. It doesn't change the fact that this document is four or five pages and that it goes into the records um, as that number of pages. What does this mean for title searches? Well, it means that maybe the records in some cases could be easier to access. It doesn't change the fact that if you're running a title search, you still have to read all these pages to find out how long the mortgage is for, what are the terms and conditions, uh, what is the dollar amount of the mortgage. All of those things still need to be read through by a qualified title examiner. Uh, and there's also many different types of documents. Uh, for example, different types of liens um, are uh, formatted differently. A mechanics lien might be different from a tax lien. So having all of that be reviewed by an examiner is important to get the full story of that property. You don't want to miss any liens. You don't want to miss any cloud on the title when running a title search. Uh, the other big deal is in almost every state, there's different laws about what type of records have priority. A mechanics lien in some states jumps ahead of mortgages. Uh, tax liens might jump ahead of some items but not others. There may be what's called super liens that have to do with environmental issues. So understanding all those records and how they, um, how they affect the property is going to be something that's beyond the scope of an e-recording. You're still going to need hands-on title research and analysis to get the, uh, the answer to the question that most people want. What's going on with this property? Who owns it? What liens are on it? And that's what most people want to know. Uh, so e-recording is, um, is an up-and-coming uh, process. Uh, some counties are, have gone from 10% of their records e-recorded in the last year to uh, over 40% this year. So it's a step towards 
a more uniform process of title records uh, but you still have to remember that even if e-recording was 100% today many records that affect a property go back 5, 10, 15 years and unless you have all of those converted to e-recording you still have to look through those deed books and look through those records to find out the title status.